Tonight, we report on sentencing for Nathan Brooks in the shooting of his parents and why Grant PUD may reconsider its rate structure for customers. What's happening in sports, Bob? Thanks, Alan. Big Ben basketball drops games at home to Wenatchee, and Moses Lake and Warden basketball open state play this weekend. Here's a glance at our Weather Center forecast. And we're looking at a few showers across the area for about 24 hours. Some higher elevation flurries, the light snow, nothing terribly heavy. But the weekend looking good, all the details coming on up. I'm Alan Troop, and we have all this and much more on i Fiber one News. From the i Fiber one HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is i Fiber one News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Nathan Brooks will serve more than 15 years in prison for shooting his parents in 2013. Brooks, a 16-year-old Moses Lake boy, pleaded guilty Wednesday in Grant County Superior Court to two counts of assault in the first degree. Deputy Prosecutor Kevin McRae said they agreed to the lesser charges to accommodate the victims, but declined the victims' request to keep the case in juvenile court. He said they did not feel that continuing the case in juvenile court provided adequate protection for the community. Brooks was sentenced to 15 and a half years and 10 years of mental health evaluations following his release. Brooks shot his parents on March 8, 2013. He admitted to prying open a gun safe, grabbing a pistol, and waiting in his bedroom for about 90 minutes before deciding to shoot them. They both survived. The man shot by Moses Lake Police in September is heading back to a Seattle hospital after he was released last week and booked into jail. Roberto Escamilla Mendoza, a 36-year-old Moses Lake resident, is facing charges of possession of methamphetamine with intent to deliver and attempted delivery of methamphetamine. Escamilla Mendoza was cleared to be released from Harborview Medical Center last week and was taken to Grant County Jail. According to Moses Lake Police Captain Dave Sands, Escamilla Mendoza is expected to head back to Harborview due to continuing medical issues. Escamilla Mendoza reportedly tried to hit a police officer with his car in September of 2014 in the Leprechaun Harvest Foods parking lot and was shot by another officer. Escamilla Mendoza was hospitalized until last week. The Grant County Sheriff's Office is spending $102,000 to fix the system controlling the locks and other systems at the jail. The Grant County Commissioners approved replacing the electronic master control system at the jail after the Sheriff's Office learned the system can't be repaired. The replacement is coming after one of the modules in the about eight-year-old system failed, according to the Sheriff's Office. The module can't be fixed because the equipment's manufacturer doesn't work with Windows XP anymore. Under Sheriff Dave Pinozo said the failure of this system can prevent the Sheriff's Office from being able to control the security system, which includes the opening and closing of doors, turning on and off lights, and the monitoring of some of the cameras. The entire facility could be affected if the system stopped working since they don't have a way of replacing the parts. A five-year-old girl was treated at Samaritan Hospital last week for reportedly having methamphetamine in her system. Child Protective Services and Moses Lake Police are investigating after the girl was hospitalized on Friday. The girl has since been released from Samaritan. According to Moses Lake Police, at least two of the girl's family members have been interviewed and investigators are still trying to determine how the girl came into contact with meth. And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. 
short break. We'll be right back. 